Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Kuwaiti Minister of Finance, Dr. Nayef Falah Al Hajraf, the Minister of State for Housing Affairs and Minister of State for Services Affairs, Dr. Jinan Mohsen Ramadan, the Board Chairman of Kuwait Airways, Yusuf Abdul Hamid Al Jassim, the Director General of the Civil Aviation, Yusuf Sleiman Al Fozan, the former Minister of Information, Mohammed Al Sanusi, and the former Board Chairman of Kuwait Airways, Sami Abdel Latif and Nasib on the occasion of the Kuwaiti government and media delegation's visit to the kingdom on the first flight of Kuwait Airways, who conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and the Crown Prince Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and their wishes of development and prosperity to the kingdom. His Majesty the King asked them to convey his greetings to the Emir of Kuwait and the Crown Prince, hailing the deep rooted and historic relations between the two countries. His Majesty commended the stances of Kuwait in supporting the kingdom in all circumstances, expressing pride in the deep-rooted relations. His Majesty congratulated the delegation on the success of the first Kuwait airway flight. He praised the comprehensive development and achievements that Kuwait made in the era of His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. For their part, the delegation expressed thanks and appreciation for the meeting, which embodied the fraternal relations between the two countries and the kingdom's achievements in various fields, led by His Majesty the King, expressing pride in the Kuwaiti-Bahraini relations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace a number of Zalag residents in light of the meeting that His Majesty the King is keen on holding with the Bahraini citizens from all governments. They expressed pride in meeting His Majesty the King and thanks and gratitude for his keenness on meeting the needs of Zalag residents. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the residents' contributions to the development of Bahrain and their dedication in serving their country and protecting its gains in various fields. His Majesty the King listened to the needs of the Zalag residents and order to fulfill them. His Majesty affirmed that holding these meetings comes in line with Arab traditions of communication and cohesion, as well as the promotion of tolerance, which is characterized by the Bahraini society. His Majesty pointed out that the development the kingdom witnesses is the result of the comprehensive development march established by older generations, affirming that Bahrain will continue its development march with the efforts of its citizens. For their part, these Zalag citizens expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support support and his keenness to provide a decent living for them, wishing him abundant health and happiness and the people of Bahrain for their progress. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace a government and media delegation from Kuwait who is on a visit to the kingdom on the occasion of selecting Bahrain as the first destination of Kuwait Airways first flight from the new Travelers Building in Kuwait International Airport. The Kuwaiti delegation was headed by the Minister of Finance Dr. Nayef Falah Al Hajra, the Minister of State for Housing Affairs and Minister of State for Services Affairs Dr. Jinan Mohsen Ramadan and the Board Chairman of Kuwait Airways Yusuf Abdul Hamid Al Jassim, as well as a number of editors in chief, media personnel, columnists, bloggers, and senior officials in Kuwait. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, affirmed that the Bahraini Kuwaiti relations have a common desti destiny that has been established throughout history, hailing the achievements of the Kuwaiti Emir, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Jabr Al Ahmed Al Sabah, and his government in developing their country. His Royal Highness asserted that the Kuwait Airways selection of Bahrain as the first destination from the new building reflects the deep rooted cohesion between the two countries, noting that Kuwait Airways has a high status and remarkable history 
history in the world of aviation. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, affirmed that the leaders of the Gulf Corporation Council, the GCC, have made ample achievements for their countries, have strived for the interests of their people, and were keen on providing them with high living standards. He called on the GCC countries to prioritize their interests and to direct the energies of the Gulf media to serve the interests of their people and defend their causes. His Royal Highness asserted that the current challenges require more consultation and coordination between the GCC countries. He reviewed with the Kuwaiti delegation a number of topics related to the Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations, noting that Kuwait's new achievement is a continuation of the country's development march led by the Kuwaiti Emir. The Kuwaiti delegation expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support to Kuwait, noting Bahrain's development and prosperity, which reflects the government's successful development policy and programs.
His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Khadibiya Palace, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, where he presented to His Royal Highness a report on the workshops on future aspirations of the government's 2019-2022 action plan, which was held on the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, at the government forum headed by the Deputy Prime Ministers. The workshops uh, resulted in a number of policies and initiatives that covered the six aspects of the government's action plan, which are the economic and financial aspect, infrastructure aspect, legislative aspect, government performance aspect, environmental aspect, and the services aspect. His Royal Highness directed to include 29 policies and 106 initiatives divided over six main aspects suggested by the workshops as a guide for the government's future action plan. The Prime Minister hailed the outcomes of the workshop and the efforts exerted to achieve the aspirations of the government and citizens, and well, as well as translate them into initiatives and policies that ensure the continuity of development to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also hailed the pivotal role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in following up on the progress of achievement and thanked the efforts of the Deputy Prime Ministers. His Royal Highness expressed his thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak in developing the results of the workshop to be included in the government's future action plan. The Prime Minister expressed appreciation for the report, pointing out the necessity for all ministers and government agencies to continue the performance to achieve future aspirations. In affirmation of His Majesty the King's belief that the citizens in the, are the center of development within the framework of the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty, His Royal Highness noted the efforts of all ministries and government agencies in achieving the goals of the government's 2015-2018 action plan. He praised the efforts of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid in following up on the progress and achievement and providing suggestions and projects that include a high-level performance. His Royal Highness expressed hope that these efforts reinforce in national gains in all fields and highlighted the cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities. For his part, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid expressed thanks and appreciation to the directives of His Royal Highness that support government work. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the support Bahrain Sports receives from His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince contributes to making honorable achievements in the world of, in the world of participations. His Highness pointed out that the year of gold has made many successes so far after the Bahraini table tennis team won three gold and four bronze medals in the Arab Championship held in Egypt, which reflects the honorable results of Bahraini sports. Sheikh Nasser added that this achievement is a motivation to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Highness affirmed that these results are in accordance with the strategy of the Bahrain Table Tennis Association led by Sheikh Hayat bint Abdelaziz Al Khalifa and its board members developed by the Bahrain Olympic Committee that aims to win gold medals. He also praised the efforts of the President and members of the Bahrain Table Tennis Association. Targeting candidates, campaign managers, voters and media professionals, the Bahrain Institute for Political Development is holding the National Program of Election 2018 under the slogan Derb. In light of the ongoing preparations for the upcoming legislative and municipal elections and in order to achieve its objectives in supporting the electoral process as well as training citizens to engage in political action, the Bahrain Political Development Institute's National Program for Elections 2018, held under the slogan DARB, will continue until the 27th of September 2018. The program includes a variety of training and awareness campaigns targeting candidates for elections along with campaign managers, voters, journalists, media, political associations, civil society organizations and others. I think I came here since the last two weeks, since the beginning of uh, establishment of these lectures. And I think these lectures are very beneficial because it's not only a lecture, it's a kind of workshop that it will train the people 
to strengthen themselves in order to be a parliament member if they are going to nominate themselves. And I think that everybody who thinks of nominating himself for the parliament should attend these lectures and workshop. Because I don't think that people could nominate themselves without any background of political issues, of issues, legal issues, of issues which are related to the problems in the country or problems in the politics that they wouldn't attend and then they nominate themselves. The democratic process in the Kingdom of Bahrain under the glorious era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is moving confidently towards consolidating its democracy and freedoms by enhancing political participation and increasing the society's awareness of exercising its constitutional rights in elections. This is the, my second time to attend to this kind of lecture by this uh, institute and it was uh, 2014 a little bit in a better place but this is the very convenient place and this, uh, the, the people who is attending here to teach us and to elect us about this kind of uh, election and about the rules and about uh, the matter what are going to use and these things are very helpful. I've been here for uh, five days uh, and it was an excellent uh, workshop uh, uh, to, uh, yes, to expose us on, on many things, many issues. And really uh, it has uh, 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 or add, add, add a lot for me. It had uh, um, uh, a lot of uh, like, uh, important information about parliaments, about expose us also about, uh, about syst the system in Bahrain, how the system has how the laws, how we can deal with, with, the, with the many uh, like, uh, principles and uh, uh, some, some important issue where it will be useful for us if, if we want like, to be in Parliament or, or also, also head of the campaign. The elections constitute an important national event and the exercise of political work in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It is the essence of democratic building which outlines the political action map and aims to serve development efforts and promote stability in society.